We are here with the brother. What's your name, brother? Daniel. Daniel. Okay. Daniel, you came here. You said you you are interested in Islam. Uh, oh, you are searching. Yes. Just, uh, what did you have? Okay. Okay. You came from Christian background yourself. Uh, yes. Okay. And does Christianity make sense to you? Yes. Makes sense to you? Yeah. Like, for example, the Trinity, the concept of the Trinity, does it make sense? Yes. Are, are Jesus and God, are they one? Yes. Okay. So when Jesus said, me and the Father are one, yeah, for example, the Jesus and Father. I'll try to answer questions best I can. I'm not very educated. So, if you see here, if there is a message from God, it has to be clear, yep. which is a shepherd in the in the desert and a fisherman who has the followers of Jesus, for example, some of them they were fishermen. They will understand it clearly. They don't have to go to, to do a huge research to find out the concept of God. Am I right? Yes. So, for example, there are this message, me and the Father are one, have this message. We have another text or another verse in the Bible say, the Father is greater than I. How we can reconcile between this? Well, I guess, the thing is, I believe that all the different things that Muslims say about the Bible, like what you just said. Not Muslims, I'm talking about Christian scholars, not just, not just Muslims. I believe... But, by the way, the people who criticize the Bible, not just only Muslims, even yes. biblical scholars. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, they are not Christians. No, no, they are Christians. Some Christians could criticize certain things in the Bible. Based on opinions, but uh, okay, so, yeah. so I think, say, for example, people ask, like, how could God be three different spirit, father, and son? Okay. And my answer to that is, we, we as humans, we can't get our heads around what God does. Whatever he does is correct, whatever he does is right. Do you agree with that? I agree. Yeah. No God, yes. So humans saying that how can how can God be three three spirits, three beings. Three different beings, yeah. Yeah. Um, people who say that that's that's stupid, how can that be possible? we're not saying it's stupid, we're saying a you, lot of people have heard say you, you agreed you agreed with me earlier that the message of God has to be clear yes and and I, even person doesn't need I don't need to go to Harvard University or to Cambridge to understand God I don't need to do that I have when I open the Bible it should be clear his message should be clear to me all right yes. if I read even some people who are reading yeah. doesn't know how to read they will it's hear about it yeah so the point is if we have these these contradictions in the Bible, yeah. what does that tell you? If God wants guidance, God loves us, yes? Yeah. And he, if He loves us, He will show us the message, or He will tell us the message in a clear, not in a vague way, in a clear way, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, you believe in this? Now, is the message in the Bible clear? Yes. People who cannot understand the Bible and say it's wrong. That shows that clear. If people ignorance. don't understand, that means they... Okay, you are not okay. You are not an ignorant person. No. You know, for example, about it. Let's use your analogy, and then let's understand according to you what you know about it. Yeah. So, you came about these two two verses. One verse says, "The Father is greater than I, and me and the Father are one." How we can reconcile? So the Father is me and the Father are one. So I guess. That's kind of talking about when he came down as a human. That, that's it in the. That's in the, That's what it's talking about. It's like to show. That's basically showing what what humans. That for my friend, what their mindset should be. That's showing like how human, sh what human should be. The Father is greater than I. Because he said that when he was on earth, in, in flesh, as a human. So the Father is greater than I. Which is true. God is greater than I. God is greater than I. Okay. Let me tell you something. The, the Christian they used this term in the beginning. It was the world. It became clear that the world was God. 
of the user, meaning that flesh is God. Yes. Yeah, as he came down as a human. Where is in the Bible say when he came down as a human that that certain power from him was seized from him? Where is that? And I want something from the Bible. When you are using the Bible. Yes. Yeah, By the way, he doesn't want to even because it's just me. Yeah. 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 So, um, I've got tiny education on the Bible, so I understand your questions, but I'll try to answer. My question is as follows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when Jesus said, The Father is greater than I, and when he said, Me and the Father are one, this is contradiction. You said, In his human form, he is not as great as God, and in his divine form, he is one. That's what you say. Where do I find this in the Bible? No, you say they ask support this argument. I would like there is nothing in the Bible like this. So because no, no, actually no, there is nothing in the Bible. Zero in the Bible talk about it. I said I'm I'm the it doesn't matter. I don't I don't need to ask no one. I open the Bible. Bob is wise. No, no, Bob is the most stupid one. No, Bob is wise. I wish he's wise. You will run from Bob. No, no, I don't run. By the way, by the way, I don't need to run from no one. But I'm saying to you. Um, did I run from you? Okay. Not no, no, even no, it doesn't matter. Are, no, no, I don't run. I don't run from the from Bob or anyone. We had the discussion. It doesn't matter. For me, when someone it come and insult Islam and the Prophet, so for us he's enemy. I don't deal with it. I, that's how it is. If someone comes, so we have a few conversation with reasonable Christian, educated Christian, we have no problem. We have a discussion with them, no problem. You understand? It's not about running. We are not making points here. We are wanted to convey the truth. You understand? So when we, I stand where I stand, and I'm saying to you here, there is nothing in the Bible affirming that Jesus in his human form is something and in his divine form is something else nothing like this now people it's a it's an assumption done by Christian because they, they try to reconcile between these contradictions they found the father is greater than I me and the father are one and then they couldn't reconcile between them except in this way you understand so because of this because of this, we have an issue with this. We, you know, uh, and, and by the way, uh, will, uh, 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 Paul, Paul, come please, if, come, come with us here. Yeah. Yeah. So my, my point is to you, if we have this and we don't have something to support it, it's an assumption. I cannot use analogy to discuss about God. I, the message of God has to be clear. You remember what was agreement or what you had in the beginning? If God loves us, if God wants the guidance for us, will send his message clearly to us. I will understand it. A shepherd in the in the you know in the Arab Peninsula will understand it. Someone a fisher in the in the in the uh, in the river, one of the rivers in Bangladesh or somewhere, will understand it. Doesn't need to go around. So simple, so straightforward. When there is vague vagueness in the in the message, that means this message didn't come from God. If there's ambiguity, if there's vagueness, then this message is not from God, from someone else other than God. So that's why when I ask you, so simple and simple, if God loves us, will show us the guidance. Clear, clear. Yeah. So God, you believe this because if so, if no one taught you Trinity, you will not understand this. But they have to keep teaching you the Trinity all the time in order to make sense for you. So that's why what you are discussing with us is faith is not reasoning. You understand? So what you are discussing with us is faith. It's not reasoning. But God gives us this brain for a reason, yes? For what? Just to hunt and to look after each other? Or as well to recognize God, to worship this one God, to submit our will to His will. So that's the idea, that's the point, and that's the wisdom behind having a brain for us to recognize God, to know who is our God, what shall we do, what's our duty to this God. That's the main thing. If with our own reasoning, with our own brain, we cannot understand this, that means there is a problem. You understand the problem now? Here. So that's why I'm saying to you, my brother, why don't you open your heart and mind for the truth? If there is one God, which we agree there is one God, this one God, okay, Jesus didn't say, can you bring me a single statement from Jesus saying, I am God, worship me. 
What? Again, I'm the, I, again. That's this vague. It doesn't mean. Listen, I'm talking about clear cut. Listen, what I'm saying to you, if you have no, but by the way, by the way, mighty not necessarily always goes to God. You understand? Uh, again, again, that's another vague thing, which we can, which we cannot, because okay, that's why my, my point is to you. Listen to me, Daniel. Again, if we wanted to understand God, we have to, it has to be clear. These things has to be clear. Me and the Father are one. The Father is greater than I. The only true God is the Father. Tell me now. The only true God is the Father. Another question. You see here, we have certain things. You said, is Jesus Almighty? Is he all powerful? How he was tortured and nearly the, the crucified him. He's all powerful. So he came down, he came down as a human, and when we say he put on flesh, as a human, he was still God inside him. It's like, say, you... Did he commit suicide? No, it's like... If, if you know, you, you go, if you go there, you're going to be killed. You know, you're definitely going to go kill, be killed. And if you go there and you know you're destined to be killed, is this suicide? No. Suicide is killing yourself. No, no, no. With no. your own. No, no, no. Who told you this? Suicide, by the way, even those people who they call themselves suicidal, you know, people who goes there, they do this. If I got dragged to, to the cross right now, it's going to kill me. That is not suicide. No, it is. I will tell you how. Not dragged. If you know you are going there distant, you, you good? You're good? Okay, if you know that you are destined to be killed, then this is suicide. This is suicidal, suicidal mission. That's what they call it, suicidal mission. But this, 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 this. My point is, do you see the, this is the problem? Now here, did he know that he will be killed? No, actually no. Do you know why? Because in the night, the day, the, the night that he said, he was asking a begging God to so someone he, he is sent for a single mission. That single mission is to be killed on the cross, yes? But what he said the night before, he said to God, take this cup away from me. Begging God, crying, even he was crying in tears and the tears came like a blood on the stone, yeah? His tears became like a blood on the stone, yeah? He was crying, he doesn't want to be killed. He said, take this cup away from me. Yeah? So I asked him, begging God to take the cup away from him. So someone, he was designated for a certain certain mission. And yet he said, take this cup away from me. Either he doesn't know that it was his mission, or if he knew and he just wanted to abstain from it. That means he has an independent, he has a will which is against the will of God. So how is that? Again, I'm not. So you took the cup away. I said, take, the cup. take this cup away from me. Means take this the cup of torturing and killing. Take it away from me. I don't want to be killed. So he probably. My guess is that he was showing. He wasn't showing. He was begging. He was crying. He didn't need to show. When you cry, you didn't need to show someone. We need to beg to God and pray to God. And because he was a human, that's exactly what he was doing. He was, he was, he was the flesh of a human. He had everything that a human would do himself in. And as humans, we my, pray. My, my, my point is, if he is begging God to take this cover, was he begging himself? No. How is that? But he said, you said me and the father are one. Was he begging someone else? So there are two. The thing is, you see, like, you say that they can't be two or three, but God does whatever he wants. Can he cease to exist? God. Can, God. can God cease to exist? But you said he can do whatever he wants. So can he cease to exist? He can cease to exist. Do, do you talk normal? It's God. He so he can cease to exist. And leave us with no God. Who's ruling? But he won't. You see, but he that, won't do that. That's my point. So he will not do things that doesn't befit his majesty and glory. Do you understand? Okay, can you, can you, can you explain to me? Yes. Surah 929. Did, did we finish our topic? Okay. Okay, let's finish our okay, topic. Okay. Oh. You know, let's, don't jump into things. Yeah. You, you try to jump into different things. I don't mind. Listen, that's why. If you, so you see it, but you're educated about Surah 929. 
Do you see the problem? Why don't you study your Bible and see all these contradictions then discuss about other faith? I see a lot of Bob videos, so you can prove your religion. Nonsense. Because the, the idea is, the problem is, you see here, when you have these contradictions in the Bible and you stand here to talk to criticize other, other faith, that's totally nonsense. We are talking about the Bible here, yeah? Our point is in the Bible, which is so simple and straightforward. We have contradiction, clear contradictions in the Bible. One, the first contradiction, Jesus is saying, me and the Father are one, would you agree? Then later on he said, the Father is greater than I, that's contradiction. The third contradiction is to say, the only true God is the Father. How we can, if the only true God is the Father, and he and the Father are one. He's talking to who? It's totally contradiction because if they are one, they are equal, the same. Yeah, that's contradiction. If something greater than I, then they cannot be one. They can be one in mission, in, in conveying the message, fine but not in one as God, as divine. That's totally contradiction. So that shows he's not God. <laughs> I, know I'm, I know I'm ignorant, but I, 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 Listen, it doesn't matter. Listen, I won't it, do be it doesn't matter. You see here, we came here, there is a Hindu who came once we debated this Hindu. He said, even if you prove to me Hinduism is wrong, I will continue to be Hindu. You see the problem is, you're exactly the same thing. You said, even if you prove to me Christianity is wrong, I will still I will continue to be Christian. And that's the problem. We have to follow the truth. Am I right? So if there is falsehood in something, that means we are not following the truth. Well, there's a lot of falsehood in this stuff. Listen, okay. Okay, that, okay. Hey, by the way, when you prove by the Islam is wrong, doesn't make Christian is, Christianity is right. Do you understand? So when you try to prove Islam is wrong, you're not proving Christianity is right. Then we'll discuss about the things because which the lack of knowledge of the people. Because for us, our source of information, not just only the Quran. We have, God has sent with the Quran, the prophet, peace be upon him, to interpret for us the Quran and to give us the guidance. So that's why, that's totally, this wasn't done in any faith before, except for example, in Judaism that God has sent, uh, 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 has sent the Torah, I send the scripture and I send Moses peace be upon him to teach the people. Same thing it happens, but the people they start coming to Jesus and they try to kill him, but they couldn't. My point is to you. You see here, these things, even if you try to prove Islam is wrong, it doesn't make Christianity right. So that's why let's let's stick to our topic, which is the Christianity is the Christianity the, the, is the word of God, is the Bible is the word of God. And if these contradictions, that means how can I rely on a source that it has all these contradictions? Adding to this, that in the Old Testament, God is not a flesh. God is not, you know, in the Old Testament, talking about God is not a flesh. And then suddenly, God become a flesh. How is this? So he became... God is not a flesh. Then God become a flesh. In the Old Testament, God is not a flesh. Yeah, the New Testament, God become a flesh. So, he basically, it's like he put on flesh, become a flesh. Is no, actually, let's use it. In the beginning, let's use it. Am I a jacket? In the beginning, let's, let's use it. In the beginning, yeah, the word was with God. The, yeah, the word, the word was God, and the word become a flesh. Which means this flesh was God. What it became. Yeah. <laughs> so my point is, you see here, that's a, that's another problem. So that's why when you say, when you are using this, you are literally contradicting the very concept of God. And adding to this, if Jesus well, is God, as you said, we said about all powerful, which is basically proving that Jesus is not all powerful. Is Jesus all knowing? Okay. When Jesus was asked about people, they have, uh, you know, they, they were they were they were doubting about Jesus, asking about Jesus, said, Can, if he's God, if he's not God, etc. What Jesus answered? They asked him a simple question, which distinguished distinguished God from the human being. They asked the question. The question as follows: This question. Which is, when is the hour? What was the response of Jesus? No one knows about the hour. 
was the father. Neither the son nor the angel. The only one knows about that one is the father. What does he mean by this? Means he, the, 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 the son doesn't know about that one. The son doesn't know about that one. You are saying to me, the son in the flesh, he didn't say this. He said the son doesn't know about the one. The son who's sitting on the right hand side of the father in the day of judgment, this one doesn't know about the hour. Doesn't know about the hour. So if the son doesn't know about the hour, is the son all knowing? <laughs> That shows if if definition no no actually yeah that's good that means one of the concepts of God all powerful all knowing has independent will so Jesus not all powerful not all knowing and doesn't have independent will and the proof he said let it be not my will but yours that shows he doesn't have independent will yeah that tells us Jesus not God with all the definitions of God. What does that make Jesus mean in that case? Sent by God. I didn't pick you. You came. I didn't, did, uh, listen, I didn't come to you. You came. Yeah, I didn't pick you. I asked you, do you want to have a conversation? You accept, yes? And I told you, do you want it to be recorded? You accept. And I told you, and the you told, told you, you would be not on camera. So, so I didn't pick you up. I, you came. But you came. Because we don't believe in coincidence. You came here to hear the message of God, the true message of God, which is Islam. Now, if Islam. Yeah, I know. I, just like the Hindu. By the way, what if Christianity is wrong? You will still stick to Christianity. Even if it's wrong. That's, I'm, I prove to you it's wrong. Now. Yeah, the thing is, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they don't even try with you. It's the fact that I'm ignorant. Because now you know that I'm ignorant. Listen, listen. No, 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 no. Listen. What? I don't make you look bad on the No, no. I will tell you something. I will tell you something. My friend. Wait. The verses that I quote in the Bible, were you aware of them or you were not aware of them? Um, I, I and I ask you, do you know them? You said yes. So don't say I am ignorant about them. You were not. I'm ignorant of the response I need to give you. No, no, the response is so, so, no, so that's something else. So that's why it's a faith. But my point is to you, what I told you, it is when we use the Bible as, as the source which you use. As a source. That's my point. That's why and I told you an introduction. If God loves us, all the guidance for us will send us a clear cut, you know, non vague, non ambiguous message which everyone will understand it. You don't need to be ignorant, you don't need to be knowledgeable, everyone will know it, whatever the level of their knowledge. So I told you someone who is shepherd in, in the in, in the Arab Peninsula or somewhere, yeah, someone who's husband of the sheep or camel, somewhere in the world, someone who is you know, a fisherman in the sea or in a river somewhere, doesn't need to go to Harvard, doesn't need to go to Cambridge, doesn't need to go to all these big universities to understand the Bible. Yeah, or, or to understand the word of God. We know this is the word of God, we'll accept it. Yeah? So those people when they receive the message of God has to be clear. They knew, they know, as you know, God is all powerful. They know God is all knowing. They know that God has independent will. He does what he wishes. Yeah? No one tells God what to do, what not to do. So they know this. When they apply this to Jesus, they find that Jesus is not all powerful. They find Jesus that is not all knowing. They find Jesus that doesn't have independent will. According to this, what they should do, they have to accept it even though it's wrong. Even if it contradicts the same concept about God. That's my point. My point is you don't need to be well educated to respond. Just like you go to any Muslim to tell them, for example, they may about technical things, but the concept of God, they understand it. So do you, do you Muslims, do you understand? No, 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 I don't believe there's mistakes because the people, they misunderstand it, not mistakes. My point is, no, no, no not, I'm not misunderstanding. I'm talking about the concept of God. The concept of God is not clear in the Bible. That's my point. Do you believe you can disprove the Bible? It's already disproven. With this, with the verse, with the verse I told you now. With the verse I told you now. You said, you just said, you accepted now, if someone is not all knowing, that means he's not God. You accepted this. And you told me Jesus is not all knowing, you finished. It's done. It doesn't matter. I'm saying to you about the concept of God. Go and, in Islam, the concept of the oneness of God is clear cut. 
no two people can say to you nothing about it. The concept of God. We believe God is almighty, all powerful, all knowing, has independent will. No one can disprove this in Islam. No one can discuss it. You go to any Muslim, even someone who doesn't have nothing, no knowledge from the Quran, will, will tell you that. So he doesn't need to study to understand that God is one and unique. You understand? But when it comes to the Bible, all these flaws and all these contradictions. So you, you, you say that you think that the Bible is wrong, but it is. So yeah, it is. It is. So that's what you think, that's your opinion. Okay, I will tell you. you. Let's use analogy, yeah? Your own analogy. Not my analogy, your own analogy. Okay. Is the Bible preserved? Is that what you what is that? Means, means that it's been the word of the Bible is exactly the word of Jesus when it was revealed. Yes, yeah. yeah. So Jesus speaks English. I'm, I'm saying what was his word? What was it in what language? Uh, I would guess. Aramaic or Hebrew? Yeah, yeah, because he's Jew. Yeah, I would guess. So he knows Hebrew and Aramaic because the language of that time. Yes. Okay. When is the first? The first Bible was compiled in which in which century? Three hundred. Yeah. Adding to this, they found some patches, patches from the Bible, patches. They found it 180 years after, yeah? And these patches, written in Greek, Greek, not even the language of Jesus, yeah? And then later on, they, 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 they compiled the Bible after 300 years. And not just that, they had to vote for the doctrine, because some, some Christian at that time, they believe they were Unitarian, they believe in one God. Some Christian, they were binarian, they believe in two God, the Father and the Son. Like Paul, by the way, never endorsed the Trinity. And some Christians believed in the Trinity. So Constantine the Great, what he did, he kind of enforced the concept, he enforced the concept of the Trinity to the people and made the people to accept the Trinity. So it was then something people agreed upon from Christian, from the early church father. So in that case, how we know this is it's a preserved and protected? We know it's vague, we don't, we don't know. So we cannot use to say, this Bible is the word of Jesus. Or the word of God. Daniel, are you okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, no? Yeah. I'm good, yeah. Yeah, we had a, we had a, a very, you know, amazing discussion. Yeah. He's, he's good, he's good lad, by the way. Yeah, he's good lad. Yeah. All right, we are happy having conversation with you, Daniel. My name is Muhammad. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, search my my friend, and you have the Quran. Just study, and, and we are happy to, to answer your questions. Do you have any questions? You sure. Okay. All right, take care. Bye. Check Muhammad. All right. Yeah, we're here. from where?